Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are diving into part two of my makeup declutter series. Today we are going through bronzers and blush. Now, the one thing I will say, I purchase each of these items myself. I don't get sent a lot of things in PR. So everything that is in my collection is something that I have purchased. Some of it has sentimental value. Some of it is just things that I've acquired over time and I really enjoy. Now, with that being said, the things that I'm getting rid of, they are going to go to my friends and people that live close to me. I'm not going to send any of my subscribers makeup. I just, I don't feel comfortable sending out used makeup. So please don't ask for it in the comments because I won't be sending it out. I did try and donate to some of the women's shelters, but during COVID, they shut down a lot of those processes. So it just made it kind of a headache trying to find somewhere in the local area that would accept used makeup. So now it just goes to friends and family in the local area. But if you like seeing what people have in their collections, if you like to see what they're gonna keep or get rid of and why, this is definitely that video. Also, if you haven't seen part one, I decluttered almost 400 eyeshadow palettes. So definitely check the drop down box. There is a link to that video. There is also gonna be more to this series. So stay tuned for that, especially if you like seeing what everyone has in their makeup collections and I have a larger makeup collection than the average person needs only because I have a YouTube channel dedicated to it. But you guys, before we jump into this, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications new videos, and if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But if you want to see what I got rid of in my bronzer and blush collection, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, we're back at it. And this time it is blushes, which <laughs> this drawer needs an organizer, which I just ordered. So once I get that in from Amazon, I will show you guys how I reorganized it. But this actually gives me some crazy anxiety because I can never find anything. When you see my bronzers and highlighters, yes, there's a lot and it does make me a little anxious when I open the drawers, but they at least have like a nice organizer so I can kind of see exactly what's in there. The good thing is blushes are only in one drawer, so it's not gonna be crazy like eyeshadows. This is the Danessa Myricks Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. So I guess it could be in face palettes because it can also be used in lip. It is a cream formula. I haven't gotten a chance to use it. This is one of those that was in the new makeup drawer. And when we hit 2023, I was like, okay, it needs to go in the drawer if I don't use it this year we will declutter it. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm hoping to use it probably this month and see what I think of it. But I do like these shades and mixing a couple of them, I might get some really pretty cheek shades. Here's another cream blush. This one's from Dominique Cosmetics. This is in Warm Peach. I'll say I didn't jump on the bandwagon with cream blushes right away. I'm starting to get into them because let's be honest, I always forget that I have a cream blush and then powder. But this shade is really pretty. And actually, it looks very similar. Uh, maybe these two together might give me this shade. So I do want to try it out. I will keep it closer to the front in my drawer so I can try it. The Liss Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in Confident. I do like their packaging. It is really sleek and nice. This shade, I know I swatched, but I haven't really played with it. Like I said, this year I'm gonna try and see what I think of cream blushes, but so far not decluttering it. I know there are some that I'm gonna get rid of. The Rodal Liquid Blush Blush Drops. These are really pretty, but I just, I don't know if I'm gonna wear something so metallic. So I think I'm going to pass these on to one of my friends because I think that I have one that will take these. We have two of the ColourPop Disney Princesses. This one is Court of Miracles. Really pretty pinky flush. I'm gonna keep that one. And then Kissing a Frog. I'm gonna keep that one too. This one's a little more cool toned. This one's a little more bright and warm toned. Since we already dug into some ColourPop, we have some of these right here. This one is from the Candyland collab. This one's Jolly. It's a super shock cheek. I really love this shade. It's a marble effect, but if you look at like the peachy, corally shades, that's what it looks like on the cheek. 
And then this one is Winnie the Pooh Mind Over Matter. This is more of like a cheek topper and I really like it. Look at that sheen. That is what it looks like if you go in too heavy. <laughs> we have the Tinkerbell Magic Moon Super Shock Cheek. This shade is absolutely stunning. So we have a couple more ColourPop ones. Might as well knock those out. This one is No Way. Ooh, look how pretty that one is. I really need to reach for these. And I say I don't get into cream products that much, but the Super Shock Cheeks, these are more of a cream to powder, and I really like those. This one is Drop of a Hat. It's more of a coppery orange, and I absolutely love this shade, especially when I have a tan. The Double Bubble from Biddy. I like this one. I just... It's kind of muted, so I am gonna get rid of this one. This is the ColourPop Let's Dance. This was part of that Valentine's release this year. I have the hardest time opening them. Ooh, that one's really pretty. I'm gonna keep this one. It, I always go for like corally peaches. For some reason, I thought I kept another one, but I didn't. So we'll go into these ones. This is the ColourPop Desert Rose. This is a light pink. Um, Let's see, let me put these against the other ones. This is Fresh and Peachy. Ooh, I like that one. And then this one is Frisky Business. Mm, I'm gonna keep these two and get rid of this one because it seems to be a little more muted. So the peachy one's keeping and this one gone. We have the Meteor Right. <sighs> really pretty, like a desert rose shade and then this is Fashion District. So, ooh, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one because it's more of a, I don't know, dusty brick. I'm gonna get rid of the Fashion District and keep Meteorite. All right, we have Hello Kitty. I wanna say this one's, oh yeah, this one's so bright. Ooh, do I, I'm gonna get rid of it. It is, <laughs> it's really pretty. This was Aloha Honey and then Love Story. Ooh, I'm gonna keep this one. It does have a little bit of glitter, so it's got more sheen than that dusty brick that I got rid of. Mulan's Good Luck Charm. Ooh, this also has glitter in it, so it's gonna have like a sheen to it. So I'm gonna keep that one. Here's this one from ColourPop in Georgette. Ooh, I like that. But it looks like it's, oh no, it's not drying up. That's actually really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that one. With the Super Shock Cheeks, you just really gotta make sure that you're keeping the lid on it because they will dry out and break down. And it has a crack in it. That's why I thought it was drying out, but it's not. This one is the Charleston Loose Powder Highlighter. I like this as a cheek topper. It has the prettiest sheen. Let's see if I can open it and not fluff it everywhere. I'm gonna hold on to that. All right, so I have these three cheek sticks from ColourPop. This one is Cash In. This is part of the copper collection that I never ended up using. Ooh, that's really pretty, but I don't know if I'm gonna reach for it. Let's see what the other two shades are. Ooh, this one's darker. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is in the shade Spot Me. And then this one is Shell Out, and it's more of a corally pink, so I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, this one is from Illa Moskva. This is actually like a cream putty. It's their Color Veil Gel Blusher. I think the shade is Tonic. This one is very, very liquidy, so it has to be <laughs> stored in the right position. I haven't tried it, I need to. It looks very liquidy, so I'm gonna keep that for right now. I actually think I just bought that. These two are from Merit. These are a cream blush. This is the one in Cheeky. I love this shade, it is really pretty. It's kind of like a raspberry. And even though it is cream, it does go on nicely on top of powder. And then this one in Beverly Hills. See, I used that one so much and I used a brush with it. Really like it. Okay, you guys, I have these from Milani and actually one of them is a duplicate. So we'll start right here with Luminoso. I have a spare of Luminoso, <laughs> absolutely need it. I'm starting to hit pan on this one. This one, before I even had my channel, was a cult favorite. I didn't find it until probably a couple years ago, but it is the prettiest shade. It doesn't matter who you are. It has the prettiest glow. 
So I'm keeping both of those because this one's almost done and I need a spare. This one in Petal Primavera. It is super light, but it is really pretty. I just don't reach for this. I actually reach for this one more. So I am going to get rid of this one because I don't know how it's going to look on my tan skin. And this one in Bella Bellini, I'm going to keep. Oh, I love the sheen and color of this one. It is so pretty. And Berry Amore. This one is also really pretty. I'm going to keep that as well. These have the prettiest sheen. If you have not tried the Milani Baked Blushes, they're so stunning. Okay, the Elf Putty Blush. This one's in the shade Turks and Caicos. These are absolutely stunning. I love these. They look really pretty on top of powder, but I prefer them on just straight foundation. And then touching up with a little bit of powder to set it. This one from Wear Beauty. This one's in Adore. I want to say I got this as like a little sample in one of my subscription boxes. Or... I don't know how I got this. I didn't purchase it, and this is not the full size, I don't think. But it is super cute, and it is really pretty. Bare Minerals Bronzer. <laughs> I keep talking about how I don't think this is a bronzer blush thing. It's just blush. This is Kiss of Pink. Such a pretty shade. It does kick up some dust, but it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to keep this because I love this shade. I think this is my only Hourglass single. This is in the shade Diffused Heat. I would go in with a very steady light hand when I was very pale, but with a tan, this is the prettiest blush. These ones just don't want to stand up. This one right here is from Huda Beauty. This is the Love Fest in Toasted Tangerine. This is a cream blush. It looks very, very intense. It is the prettiest shade on the cheeks, and it actually has like a print in there that's kind of gone now that I've used it a lot, <laughs> but... I think this is the only blush that I have from Huda Beauty, but I'm gonna keep that for right now. These two from She Glam, they have the prettiest packaging, but I can tell you right now, I'm not gonna keep this shade right here, which is Hush Hush, because it is very light. It does not show up on me like I want it to, but this shade in Devoted is absolutely stunning. And I love the applicator on it. The Kaja Bouncy Blendable Blush in Atmosphere. I actually just purchased this on Flip. I just reviewed it in my Flip haul. Beautiful. I absolutely love this blush. I need to pick it up in a couple other colors, but I think they only have like four shades in it. I'll have to check. The Blush from M -M -M Mitchell. This is in the shade Peach Sugar. I have not used it as much as I want to, but it is a really pretty shade. This is a Kaja one as well. This is the, it doesn't say, it's actually the stamp. And then it has like the cushion blush, but it's in the shade Feisty. Really like this. It is a very, like for me, gimmicky. But when you think of like Korean beauty, it makes a lot of sense. Especially if you've lived over there and seen a lot of their beauty and makeup and the things that they put out. It's very cutesy. In Japan, you call it kawaii. It's so cute. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. L'Oreal Blush Please Shimmering Blush. This one's in the shade Blushin' in Riviera. Really pretty. Definitely a blush topper and definitely not something I can wear to work. It has a lot of gold glitter in it, but it is really pretty in the summer. Laura Geller, this is her Blake, <laughs> this is her Baked Blush and Brighton in Tropic Hues. I love this blush. I was actually wearing it the week before I left for vacation and I was getting so many compliments on it, but I also don't think it's available anymore. I'd have to check. I've, I've seen Laura Geller at Ulta, but I just haven't looked for any other shades. Love this one. Kimchi Chic. This is Thaler Blush in Grace. This is actually really interesting because it has two different shades, more of a highlighter and then the corally peach that I like. So if you want it to have an extra sheen, this for me is actually like a highlighter. So I'll do the blush and then I'll do this as a highlighter on top of it. Really pretty. But also if you mix them together and this one, I haven't been really swatching, but it has like a soft baby pink. And it has a really pretty sheen. Oh, here's the rest of that snowman from the eyeshadow declutter. <laughs> This one has four blushes in it. I really like these shades. I've reached for them a couple times, like this Coralie one. This one has a sheen to it, and then the other two are also matte. 
but this magnetizes to that eyeshadow palette. And somewhere we're gonna find the bronzers, which I think is the head of the snowman. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Smashbox and Vlada. This is the Petal Metal Highlighter. Actually, because of the shade, I put it in blushes because it is definitely like a blush topper. I know it says highlighter. This is a blush topper for me, but it's really pretty. Kiko Milano. This is the Dolce Diva Better Coral. This blush is stunning. Mixing all three of them together is really pretty. Sometimes I'll just mix these two. If I want to go a little bit lighter, I'll add in the lighter portion of it, but I like the contrast of it and it is a stunning blush. This little tiny one from Kiko, this is Smart. It's cute. I just don't reach for it. I have a lot of other coral shades, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm sure one of my friends will get some use out of it. The Can Make Cream Cheek. This is one of the K-Beauty brands. Couldn't tell you the shade, it's 07. But look how cute it is. It has like the diamond shape on it. This blush is so pretty. I am going to keep it. Okay, so these are the only two I have from MAC. I used to have a very extensive collection of MAC. I just, I don't go seeking it out. I will use these two because they're really pretty shades and they're the ones that survived my last declutter. This one is the Glow Play Blush in Cheer Up. It's kind of like a cream to powder. Love the peachy shade. It goes on so beautifully. And then this is the Extra Dimension Blush in Sweets for My Sweet. This one's a little bit darker, so with a tan, it is really pretty on the cheeks. This one from Tarte is the Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush in Quirky. I had literally decluttered all of my blushes from Tarte, and then I got this in a subscription box. It is super cute. Thankfully, it's the color that I like use the most. So I'm going to keep this one. Ofra, this is Blush Bellini. I love this. It's a really pretty matte peachy shade. I wear this one for work because it doesn't have all the glitter and sparkle and shine, which we're not allowed to have glitter. Um, so I'm keeping this one definitely a good staple for work. We'll go with these three Kylie because they don't want to stand up. This one is We're Going Shopping. Really pretty peachy shade. It's actually kind of a cool toned peach, but I'm going to keep it. This one from Stormy is Flutter in Love. That was a cool toned pink. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then Kylie X the Grinch in Max the Reindeer. Ooh, I like that shade. And it has like gold glitter in it, so I'm gonna keep both of these. Patrick Ta Blush in the shade She's Passionate. This, love it. Beautiful for work. It's a matte shade, no extra shine, no glitter. So it's definitely something that I can keep for my everyday work look. Kaleidos, couldn't tell you the color because there's no sticker on it saying the shade. Really pretty matte peach shade. Has a little more of like a neon-y pink hue to it, but it is really pretty on the skin. Sigma, this is Blush and Sunset Kiss. Love this. Also matte, so I can wear it to work. But I think they just released Sigma blushes last year. So I bought this, a bronzer, and a highlighter, which we'll see in the rest of the declutter, but keeping this one. Let's see, we have NARS Orgasm. This <laughs> is the big extra oversized. This is a staple. It was a cult classic. I absolutely love this. I have this in a couple face palettes, but sometimes I just want to travel with this and then other individual items. So got to keep it. And then this one from Too Faced. This is Too Femme. This is such a glowy pink. Look at the pressings in it. It is so pretty. We're already on Too Faced. Let's knock these ones out. This one is Love Flush Watercolor Blush in Love Yourself. I want to say I picked this up at like TJ Maxx when it was there. It is a really pretty shade. Don't know when it came out originally, um, but I like the little pressings of the bunnies in there. Do you see those? They're so cute. And this one is Apricot in the Act. This one's a split one, so you can do matte shade or add in the gold and then just get like a really pretty sheen. It has the most beautiful scent. It smells like peachy apricots. Okay, on to some more cream blushes. This is Iconic London. This is in the shade... I don't know what this is. This is a sheer blush, though. I remember when I used this, I was like, where did it go? So I'm going to pass this on to a friend that maybe they want it. And if not, it'll just be recycled. Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Blush in Bubblegum. This is the prettiest, shiniest blush. 
but I have to remember to use this when I don't have powder on it because it likes to disturb powder after you set it. So I do like the fact that there is a brush on it, but I didn't use the brush because it is so like dense. But I'm gonna keep it because I do like the blush. The Blush and Bloom from Jouer. This one is in the shade Coquille. Also really pretty, has a really nice sheen. And then this side is Parasol, which is more pinky. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. This is Danessa Myricks. This is the Vision Flush in Bread and Butter. Ooh, look at that. Really pretty shade, need to use it some more. I didn't even realize I had a Denise Myers blush. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand High Blush in the shade Peach Gasm. Really, really like this. It has the most pretty of like metallic, I wouldn't say metallic. It's just a glowy blush. Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Mauve Mattes. This is really pretty. It has a really nice scent as well. It's kind of sweet. But when you blend all of this together, it has a really pretty mauve blush. And then there is a brush in here. I just never use them. So they just, they stay there. I have these three from Benefit. This one is Gold Rush, which I've already hit pan. I need to use it up. It is one of my favorite shades. So we'll use that up and keep it. These two just came out this year. They reformulated their blushes. This one in Krista is kind of like a corally neon shade love this don't go in heavy-handed but it diffuses out to the prettiest blush and then shelly this one is more of like a peachy coral but these are really nice and i only bought the minis you see my collection do i really need a full-size brick like gold rush which has taken me like four years to hit pan on or just buy the little minis which are so much easier to travel with and i might hit pan in a year <laughs> Okay, now we have some of the base palettes. This one is from Juvia's Place. This is volume two in Blush Rouge. Really like these shades. I actually mixed them. Almar Cosmetics. This is medium tan. I absolutely love these blushes. So they're a little bit deeper. I like to mix these two together just to mute it out a little bit, but these shades all by themselves are stunning. Okay, so from Jacqueline, this is the Matte Blush Palette in Rouge Romance. These shades are beautiful. I do like to mix them around a little bit. Like this orange is definitely not my shade, but mixing them and kind of muting them out a little bit is absolutely acceptable. This palette from Melt, this, I wanna say it was like the Mariposa palette that it came out with. This one is the Monarcha Blush Palette. Really love these shades. Like I said, I love to mix in blush palettes, especially the lighter shades with the deeper shades just to get a more muted blush that I would actually use. There are also blush choppers like Feliz and Vita. Absolutely stunning. I love this palette though. Look at the artwork. You see those? Oh, stunning. Last one, we have the Laura Lee Blush Aesthetic Palette. Look at those. Beautiful. And then this one, I don't know if it's meant to be a highlighter or a blush topper, but it is so stunning by itself on top of blush, but I love all the shades. I feel like there's a little bit of something for everyone in here.
Okay, you guys, this is like the weirdest. This is why I need an organizer in here. Yes, these ones line up properly, but the round ones, there's just really no way to put them in here nice and neat. And towards the end, it's just kind of like, I'm frustrated. So <laughs> when I get the organizer, I will reorganize and show you guys exactly what I did with it. But it's supposed to be here in a couple days. Now, as far as what we got rid of, the last one, 11. So that is where we're at for right now. Not too bad. It's a good start. I just, I need this more organized because I can't tell what's in here. Okay, we're on to bronzers. <laughs> Thankfully, blush and bronzers are only one drawer each. Um, but I do still have face palettes and highlighters is in two drawers. So <laughs> stay tuned for that. Looking at this, it does. this is why I'm okay with my bronzers because of the organization that I have right here. And it kind of wrangles my round bronzers <laughs> containers in the front. So if I can get my blush drawer to look like this, I'll feel so much better. It, I, I'm less anxious, but there's still a lot in here. Okay, we'll start right here. This is the Iconic London Multi-Use Sculpting Palette. This is actually cream contour bronzer type of stuff. This came in a subscription box, and I'm gonna keep it for now because I have been getting into cream contours. It is really easy to contour with them, do my foundation, put this on, then my concealer. So I'm gonna hold on to this because I just, I forget about it in that drawer and I absolutely need to use this. The Koki Professional Matte Bronzer in the shade Heat Wave. This is very warm toned. <laughs> I picked it up, I wanna say at a CVS or something, and it's really pretty, it's just not necessarily my shade. So I am gonna pass this on. Ooh, Buns Out from Jaclyn. This bronzer smells so phenomenal, but it is not my shade. It smells like coffee. And I just, I need another shade in this. So I'm gonna pass this on. I don't even know if I have a friend that would use this shade, but, and I, I hate getting rid of it. It is such a nice bronzer. It's just, I can't deny the shade. The Too Faced Natural Chocolate Golden Cocoa. This I just recently picked up, not too long ago. I do like it. I just haven't used it that often. It is really pretty. Liss, this is the No Limits Matte Bronzer in Harmony. It's their medium shade. I absolutely love this bronzer. I have definitely gone in on it. And as much as I've used it, I still don't look like I've made a dent in it, but I'm gonna keep this. Kiko Milano, this is the Dolce Diva Baked Bronzer in Special Honey. This is stunning. And it smells like chocolate. It kind of smells like the Too Faced bronzer that I have but this is so beautiful, so glowy on the skin, keeping. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in Medium. I think I actually need to go up a shade, but I do like how this looks on the skin. Can't deny it. And look at the packaging, it's stunning. The Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tantastic. This I think I picked up at a TJ Maxx. It is a lighter shade, but I do like it, and it is nice for contouring, so contour and bronzer in this one. Keeping it, and look how big that is. It's the size of my hand, you guys. ColourPop Summerland Beach Matte Bronzer. This one is really pretty. It is a little bit lighter, but it's not too warm toned, and it is really nice on the skin. Gonna keep that. Also, look how... Why? Why is it so much? Okay, I've got these two from Morphe. This is their Glamour Bronze. I have Originator and Icon. So this one in Originator, really like this one. It is a little warm toned, but I love it for the summer. And then this one in Icon, really pretty. So keeping both of those, I love the packaging on it though. Look at how pretty that is. This one I picked up with their Bronze Palette, which is really pretty. The Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer in Medium. This is one of their cream bronzers that she put out. Beautiful. I absolutely love this. And I love the packaging. The Too Faced Satin Dual Tone Bronzer. This is in Natural Lust. I think that's the shade. This is absolutely stunning. I love this. You cannot get it anywhere. I haven't seen it. 
but the bronzer by itself or this duo together is absolutely stunning on the skin. So keeping that. Iconic London, this is Ultimate Bronzing Powder in Medium Bronze. Look how much bronzer. <laughs> They're massive, you guys, but I use, I use bronzer pretty daily. So I'm keeping that. Lancome Le French Glow in Light. See, and it's only light if you mix all of them together. I'll mix these two and it's really pretty. It's still really nice on the skin. It does have a warm undertone, which is really pretty in the summer. From Fenty Beauty, which look at the packaging, it's really pretty. This is the Toasted Swirl Bronze Shimmer Powder in Chocolate Swiller. Now, when I bought this, <laughs> I thought it was just a bronzer. I didn't realize that it was a swirl shimmer brick, which it is 100% a bronze topper. I'm gonna keep this and play around with it. Uh, I haven't gone back and used it in the winter fall months, but in the summer it is really pretty on the skin. And I might, I think this on the shoulders would be really pretty. So I'm gonna hold on to this for right now. We have the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chiseled to Perfection. I really like this. These two shades I will mix and then you have like the pop of light which is really pretty. It's one of those like under the eye type of things, but I won't use this because it has glitter. This light cocoa is really good for brightening. The Hydrating Complexion Trio from Alomar. Love this. These two shades are really pretty by themselves mixed together. And then this one is really nice for under the eye. I guess you would say these are face palettes too. Um, but I just keep them in my bronzer drawer because I really only use the bronzer, not really this shade because it's more like a banana powder. The Juvia's Place Bronzed in Medium. This is really pretty. I like to mix these two shades actually. This one I'll use for contour and then I'll mix the two for bronzer. The Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This palette, look at, how stunning is that? I got this in the subscription box. I really think that you have every single shade that you need in here. You've got something for brightening or just use these four for bronzer. This one has a little bit of a shimmer to it and a sheen. This one's matte, so it definitely is one that I reach for. Now, into the organized section. This one is from Sigma. This is the matte bronzer in dark. And this dark looks like it's medium, but it is really pretty. I love it on the skin. PYT Beauty, this is Faux Sun Bronzer in Bali. It's pretty, and I don't remember if I like loved it. Can't even open it. It's okay, it's not my favorite. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Bronzer in, it's in the shade medium. It's literally down here in the tiniest print in the corner. Really like this one, it has a warmer undertone. And then there is a mirror in here. Keeping that. This is the Chloe and Malika collab with Becca, which is no longer a brand, but these are the prettiest bronze stones. You just dip your brush in here and on your shoulders, it gives you a bronzy glow, even as a bronze topper, but these are the neatest little concept. And I love having these around for the summer. Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in Amber. I really like this. I have to make sure that I don't set my face before I use it though, because so far I have not found Anastasia Beverly Hills cream products to be great on top of powder. So as long as I remember, I can bronze with this and it is really nice. This is by far one of my favorite cream products. This is the Jaclyn Cream Bronzer in Sandy. Oh, oh no, it's starting to dry up. Ugh, I need to buy another one if it's available. But this is the prettiest and on top of powder, under powder, it is absolutely stunning. It doesn't disturb my makeup. You can see where it started to dry out and I guess the center is a little more creamy still, but I guess I'm gonna be ordering a new one to replace it, but I'm keeping it for now until I replace. The e.l.f. Putty Bronzer, this is in the shade Tan Lines. This is such a beautiful cream bronzer. It is so nice, I'm keeping this one. And it's affordable, it is so affordable. Iconic London Precision Duo in Light Shadow. I really, really, really wanted this to be like everything. The downside is it is too light for me. There's a cream and then there is a powder 
The problem is I have a tan, so it does not show up on me that well. I am going to pass this on. And then these two from She Glam. I picked up two different shades. This first one is soft tan. <laughs> it is so cool toned. I need a different shade. It looks gray on me. So I'm going to pass this one on. And then this one in Warm Honey. Warm Honey is really pretty. So I am gonna keep this one. Now I can just slide this up so easily. All right, we have a couple creams. We've got a couple powders. We have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand in Fair Medium. This one I really like. It's so easy to use. You just squish it up a little bit, tab it on your places that you wanna contour, but I really like this underneath powder. All right, we'll start here in the back because these are my MAC ones that have survived the MAC declutters before. This is the one from Aaliyah in Baby Girl. This has the prettiest sheen. It is really pretty in the summer, so keeping that one. Look at the packaging, that is so pretty. This is in Golden Rinse. This one has a really pretty sheen as well. Really nice in the summer. This was from Patrick Starr. This is Give Me Life. Absolutely love this. It was a little bit dark for me when I was pale, but now that I have a tan, it is so much nicer. And then the Aladdin. I love the packaging on this, it is so pretty. This is Your Wish Is My Command. It's starting to get like hard set. So I've been using it, but I think I need to get rid of it. As much as I wanna keep it, it's just, it's so hard packed. Can you see the cast on it? And literally all I'm getting is from right there. So I'm gonna pass this on. Actually, it's probably gonna get thrown away. From Zoeva, this is the Lumi 0.2 Radiant Bronzer Highlighter. Maybe a face palette, but this has the bronzer here, highlighter here. I actually mix them to get a glowy bronzer and it's really pretty. The Milani Baked Bronzer, this is in Dolce. So stunning, love this. Too Faced, this is Pineapple Sun. These two by themselves are really pretty and then mixed together is absolutely stunning. Gives you a glowy bronzer or a bronzer and a highlight, love this. The Too Faced Snow Bunny Luminous Bronzer. This is really pretty. I will mix these shades, not so much this pale cream, but it is the prettiest bronzer and no longer available. Tarte Amazonian Clay Park Avenue Princess. Why do I have an individual if I have a whole palette? I think I'm going to pass this on. It's nice for travel because it just chucks into my makeup bag, but you can see that I've already hit like I'm almost to hit pan. I might just throw this one away because I don't need this and the big palette. Another Too Faced, this is the Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer in Sweet Tea. This is stunning. And as much as I've used it, it doesn't look like I have. It's still going strong. There's so much bronzer in here. Too Faced Sun Bunny Natural Bronzer. I love this little sample size. <laughs> If it was still available, I would probably go and purchase it. I haven't seen it in store, but this is so beautiful. I love the two shades. And really that's honestly all I need for as many as I have. These two from Wet n Wild, I have Ticket to Brazil and Palm Beach Ready. Ticket to Brazil is definitely warm toned and pretty light. I think I can get rid of that one. And then Palm Beach Ready, this one's really pretty on the shoulders because of the sheen. Oh, I'm gonna keep that one. Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers. Yeah, Dust to Dawn Bronzer. This is really pretty, I'm gonna keep this one. Too Faced, this was their holiday release. It is so cute. Look at the little marshmallows and the hot cocoa. This is the shade Hot Cocoa. <laughs> and it smells like chocolate. Look at him, he's so cute. Do you see his little whipped cream hat? I say hat, he's a thing of hot cocoa. He's supposed to have whipped cream. Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. This is actually from when I was light. I'm gonna keep it for now because I do still reach for this, but I think I just need the chocolate soleil. And it smells amazing. Huda Beauty Glowish in the shade Medium. This is the Soft Radiance Bronzing Powder. I like this until it started to hard pack itself. This is like 
I have to really, really swirl into it, but then it doesn't look like it's going off anywhere. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I liked it when I first got it, when it was creamy and going on, but once it started to dry out and hard pack, like I can't use it. The Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream in Light. This is really pretty, and even though it's light, it's actually kind of my shade. Look how dark that is. That is not light. I'm going to keep it, though, because I really like how it looks, and it hasn't hard packed like the Glowish. NARS in Laguna. This is a really nice travel size. I have this in face palettes, but I'm going to keep it because I do like having it, so I can just chuck it in my makeup bag for work. These two from ColourPop. This is the Press Butter Blush in Jet Set. And I say blush, but when you see the shade, you're like, yeah, that's a bronzer. It's just a darker toned blush. So I kind of use it as like a bronze topper because it does have gold glitter in it. And then in Trippin', this is also a blush, but that it's also a bronze topper because it's got gold glitter. So I'm keeping both of those. Kevin Aquan, the Sculpting Powder in Medium. I have hit pan so hard on this, but I have been like still using it because it will still pick up and it is my favorite, favorite powder contour. Revlon Skin Lights. This is the Prismatic Bronzer in Sunlit Glow. This is absolutely stunning. Look at that. Look at the sheen. On the shoulders in the summer, mm, or on the collarbones, Beautiful. Wet and Wild, In Love with Coco. This is a face palette, so they say. This is like a bronzer and like face setting powder, but it's kind of got like an interesting sheen to it. So I don't know about a powder, but I will keep it for the bronzer because I do like that. And I think those two mixed together are really pretty. Last one, we have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, Cult Classic, and it smells phenomenal. This is the original shade bronzer. This is actually like my third one. Oh, it smells like a tropical beach. And then it does come with a brush. I've since gotten rid of them because what's well, the point? Just, I keep reaching for this. I might need a darker shade, but it still looks really pretty on tan skin. Now my only concern is this one right here is probably not going to fit. Nope. So, and this one can't stand upright because it just hits the top. So I have to put it on an angle. Let's see if those two together. Oh yes, perfect. All right, so I think I did pretty good with this one. Let's see how many I got rid of. So we got rid of nine bronzers, which I'm okay with. You guys, we got through that. And I'm gonna tell you right now, because I didn't tell you in the beginning, we started out with 80 blushes and 56 bronzers. <laughs> no one needs that many of either of those in their collection. The normal person might have one or two, if that, but I am not a normal person. Apparently I like to hoard makeup. But I feel good knowing that I did get rid of some items out of my collection. Out of the 80 blushes, I got rid of 11. And then out of the 56 bronzers, I got rid of 9. Now, like I said, those are going to go to my friends. And we're going to have a girl get together, go through things, and just they get to take what they want. But you guys, if you like watching declutters, stay tuned for the rest of the series. That will be coming up here the rest of the month. And if you're new here before you leave, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Until my next video, you guys, bye. And I'll see you in the next one.